Every once in a while, new products hit the ground from companies that aren't currently playing in the market, but they make total sense to be here. And let me tell you, Hercules tires as well as TIS Off-Road are here in a big way and they're here to stay. Offering two different wheel designs in multiple colorations, TIS, or 20 inches strong as you may know them, have expanded their TIS Off-Road line to now include 14 inch and 15 inch wheel offerings for all the most popular side-by-side -side bolt patterns. The 558 and 559 rims are aggressive, bold, and make a statement from the first glance. But hey, what would you expect from a company that's been knocking rim designs out of the park for what seems like most of my driving life? The rims are beautifully designed, the coloration options are awesome, but what do you wrap these new rims with? Well, the collaboration between TIS and Hercules was a marriage made in heaven. The UT1 is offered in 314s and 315-inch sizes. The UT1 is an aggressive all-terrain tire that isn't terrain-specific, yet it finds a way to be capable tackling anything from sand to mud. And I know because I've tested them thoroughly. All current sizes are designed to be set up as a square kit with 10 inches being the width of all available sizes as of our testing. This makes ordering your tires easy, but also of importance is your rotation of your tires because we all know the rear rubber gets a bit more abuse, especially with you turbo guys. Today I've got two different options of rims and tires that I can run on our General 1000. Firstly, I've got the 30 inch UT1s that are mounted to the TIS rims with the cool milled logos on them. I really like this package, it looks really nice, it's glossy. But if I move up to the 32 inch tire package, it's on the other TIS rim that's really nice, but it's in matte black. Now, seeing as our General is already running 30 inch tires, I don't really wanna go with the 30, I wanna see what the benefit is if I go up that two inches. So that's what I'm gonna do, and we're gonna go with the matte black rim. Not only am I going to be increasing ground clearance, I'm also going to be increasing the capabilities of our General 1000 with a tire that during my last testing seriously over delivered. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Mount up these 32s and get this thing out on the trail and tell you exactly what I'm feeling. When you're putting new rims and tires on your buggy, you've got the tires off of the vehicle. You have all this access to suspension, brakes, hubs, all this stuff. You might as well take the time to do a little in-depth investigation right now to save you time down the road. So one of the things I like to do, if you're going with a larger size tire package, make sure that your tie rods and your joints at the end of the tie rods, everything's feeling secure and strong. Now this is a brand new side-by-side. -side. I don't really have to look into it too much, but if yours has got a few thousand miles on it, or maybe a few thousand more than that, make sure you take the time, just wiggle stuff around, you know, get a good feel for it, you know, move the steering, get a feel for what might be starting to wear out. If you're really uh, concerned about things like bushings on suspension and you haven't changed those, maybe you got five, 10,000 miles on your buggy, make sure you're giving everything a real good move through the, the suspension, just at that little bumps coming in. You'll be able to feel, feel some clicking up here at the, uh, the inputs where the A-arms go into the actual chassis itself. You can feel a little bit of wear, a little bit of play. If you're at this point right now, you're better off just to go into the dealership, get the bushings, get the bearings, get the things you need and do the work now. Because when you put that oversized tire and wheel package on, you're gonna stress all of these components a lot more than you were before. So take the time now. Other thing to do, investigate your brakes. Have a look to see if your brake pads still got lots of life left. Like I said before, this is a brand new vehicle. Brake pads are great. But have a look, because you're here, it's easy to do the work when you're here. So I've installed the TIS rims and the UT1 tires. We're ready to go out and rock. I've looked over the brakes, I've looked over the suspension, the bushings, all the different things. This vehicle is ready to go out on the trail, so why don't you jump in the passenger seat and ride along with me. things I'm noticing about the UT1 tires is that while they say online that they clear out really good I mean that's just all speculation until you actually get out and do it going over down trees and roots these tires just have no problem getting over and, and clawing over stuff these things are doing a, just a fantastic job 
The UT1s running on rough rocks is really nice too, you know, because they're offering a nice flush ride, but they're grabbing onto the surfaces of the rocks. And so Hercules says that there's something called a balance void ratio and biting edges on the tread blocks. And it's supposed to give you confidence when you're navigating through agile kind of terrain, um, you know, when you're off-road in all kinds of different conditions, whether it be sand, silt, loose rocks, gravel, dirt, whatever it might be. And I'm actually finding, well, this is a lot of technical jargon that many people aren't gonna really understand. I don't care what they call it, it works. These tires are impressive. So the center and intermediate tread blocks, which really, I mean, if you wanna take away from that, what they're talking about is just the core of the traction. Those, those lugs that are down the middle of the tire, that's where the UT1's traction is really, really coming from. That center and intermediate tread blocking offers you the optimal bite in the most possible trail situations, whether it be out in Moab, in the sand, you know, in a, in a river washed out area where you're ripping through the sand or whether it be up on the slick rock, you know, here in Ontario and then also, I would say anywhere uh, in the United States, you're gonna find really, really good grip from these tires there as well in the, in the rocky, muddy, ruddy, rooty, you know, typical off-road situations. But it's really hard for an all-terrain tire to do a great job at kind of everything. I know they're called all-terrain, but many of them sort of have certain areas where they're better and, and certain areas where they fall behind. And I just haven't found that yet with the UT1. Hercules did a really good job with these. And now, one of the neat things about the UT1 tire, gotta remember, this thing's got two sides to it. And what I mean by that is then you can flip them. And one side has a certain profile, the other has a different profile. So you can kind of stylize your ride depending on what you want the shoulder of your, uh, your tire to look like. That's sort of cool. So Hercules says that they've got a sophisticated scalloped shoulder lug design that incorporates elongated stone ejectors. And what that means is that these tires are built by a company who knows a lot about what they know a lot about, and that is tires. They clear out super optimally. They don't retain rocks or mud. They get rid of everything that's in the tread blocking, and the engineers who designed this tire know exactly what they're doing. So it's obvious that I'm testing these tires on a 1000cc naturally aspirated side by side, but the reason I wanted to do that is because I've already had time with it on a turbo Can-Am, and I wanted to try it on something that's naturally aspirated just to see how they handle with a little bit less horsepower. And I mean, the reality is probably a better part of the market is running side by sides that are 1000 cc's and under and not turboed. So I really wanted to get a feel for it. And what I'm left with at the end of the day is that I like the ride quality. I like the grip in all situations. And I also like those features and characteristics when it comes to something that's a little lower horsepower and not as aggressive. It's a really good tire made by Hercules and in cooperation with TIS. The UT1 works really well. It's delivering everything that they said that it would and then a whole lot more. So what I'm realizing is that a tire company who builds tires for the automotive industry coming to side-by-sides and off-road really can bring a whole lot of extra potential and extra capability and extra understanding not to mention a whole lot of engineers who have a way better knowledge when it comes to a broader terrain, uh, you know, broader environments and, and more situations. Hercules is doing a great job here, and when you go into your Hercules dealer and put your money down on these tires, you're not gonna be disappointed.